What is going on ladies and genitals, Yodi Slay here, bringing you episode 24 of my Borderlands 2 Seraph Weapon series. Today I'm bringing you the third Seraph Weapon from the newest DLC, Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep, but this is going to be the first one that is an actual drop. No, you cannot get this from the Seraph vendors. This gun is called the Omen. Now in my case it is the basic Omen. In your case the prefix of this gun may change, but it will be some variation of the Omen. Now like I said, this is not going to be from the Seraph vendors itself. You're actually going to have to fight the the ancient dragons of destructions for this gun and there's another shield and I think maybe a pistol that they drop as well uh, but if you do not know how to get to the ancient dragons of destruction you want to head to the lair of infinite agony once you get to the lair of infinite agony you'll be there down there towards the bottom middle part you want to work your way up here to the right you will see the exit and you'll see that it's the exit to the wing storm right there within the red circle now I'm going to show you the footpath of it here um, I am going to speed it up a little bit but maybe you don't really know where the red circle was actually located but I will show you guys this now but like I was saying and I said a couple times already you've got to get this gun the omen there's like a few serif weapons in this DLC which I think is awesome that you've actually got to get no you cannot just go buy these from the serif vendors you've actually got to kill these new raid bosses uh, to get these serif weapons I think it's a great idea I actually really like this shotgun I'm gonna spoil it now this is one of the best like serif weapons I stuttered like crazy right there this is one of the best serif weapons I've used I've only got this shock element but dude I really enjoyed this freaking shotgun a lot I used it a lot afterwards after getting this just messing around with just you know running through the game and I'm digging it now right here uh, I'm gonna speed this whole thing up as we kill the ancient dragons I'm gonna get a tutorial out. most of you guys probably know how to beast these ancient dragons so far and you know already right now but if you want a tutorial up like this was picture perfect with us guys right Right here uh, I'll give you a little rundown of what you actually got to do for those that may be confused what you got to do is you can see there is the Helliant the Invincible the third okay that's the blue dragon what he does is he actually heals the other dragon so it's kind of a cock block so you definitely want to take the health guy out first which is the blue the shock dragon then you want to move to like the purple dragon because he will boost their levels up okay so you want to kind of take him out of there as well and uh you know the order we did it in i'm not going to try to explain like each uh you know what's each one they do but we went blue purple green and red now it doesn't really matter with green and red but as long as you get the purple and the blue dragons out of there it'll make it tons easier because you know the blue one is healing them uh the purple one is actually leveling them up the green one i'm not really sure what he does but the fire one can be kind of a cock block because i hate being on fire you know fire you're on fire forever and it puts you down really easily um so yeah i will have a full tutorial of this it won't be sped up or anything i'll explain in detail how to actually take out these dragons you know and you know so if you've got any tips you want to put in that you know the tutorial leave in the comments now tell me what you got to do why you take out this dragon why you do this and let me know we'll get this like the most thorough freaking like ancient dragon tutorial ever but right here we're about to take out the dragons and you're gonna see we get the almighty loot now this is actually the first time i've beat this on my gun zerker um you know so it says we got to turn it in we got to go turn it in right here okay guys i want to point this out i didn't notice this until i was putting this video together if you can see right here i'm kind of looking around i do not see any seraph you know weapons anywhere um there's a lot of purple there's iridium everywhere i may just overlooked it but the buddy in the game there says yodi right here he says yodi and then he says here I can't see him. I didn't even notice he put it in the chat there. Forgive me if this guy dropped this gun right here, okay? I didn't notice it, and I never even thought of it until I started putting this video together. And I was like, hold up, man. I had my back to this guy the whole time. I hope this guy didn't just drop this in, you know, drop this down. So if he did, man, I apologize. I'm looking for him. I still didn't even know where he is. And I go over there, and he's got the omen. So, you know... Kiru Chan or whatever. I hope you didn't drop that down, man, because that's not how I roll. I like to prove these drops 100%. If you guys think that this could have been that he threw this gun down, let me know. I will do this again. It's not that hard to kill these dragons. I will do it again just to prove to you guys that the omen does drop from the dragon. And I assure you that it does. Um, now, whether or not he threw it down, I can't totally honestly say with that. Um, so the only thing I can ask is if he's watching this video, please be honest. Did you throw it down or not? I can't really tell. There was too any purple uh but i didn't i couldn't see okay so let me know what you guys say karu if you're watching this man please you know let us know but right here you can see the coolest effect of the shotgun i think it's pretty freaking beastly how they like go out in that circle like kind of like an eyeball and then they like go inward like whatever they make go real tiny and like they 
yeah, you've seen what they did. I don't really know how to explain that. Uh, but I think it's a pretty cool effect. This does come in all elements, too, by the way. So I definitely want to get my hand on fire, slag, and all the goodies, man, and try to get the best prefix and all that because I like this shotgun, dude. You're going to see a couple with the grog nozzle right here. Uh, it does work. So I got the antagonist shield on. I need to be getting the Seraph video for that because I really do like this antagonist shield. But before we get on to this, as you guys watch this gameplay, you will notice that it is TDR. I don't use TDR weapons much, so you're going to see I reload in really awkward moments because I'm not used to chucking my gun like that. Uh, so don't mind that. But let's read from the wiki really quick. It says, The Omen is a Seraph slash E-Tech shotgun manufactured by TDR. It exclusively appears in Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep. The Omen can only be obtained as a rare drop from the Ancient Dragons of Destruction. Now, special weapon effects in red text. It says, I'm going to need you to stand back. Fires nine E-Tech bullets in a unique pattern. Eight bullets in a circle and one in the center at a reduced ammo cost for an E-Tech shotgun. The pattern expands and contracts as it travels. Contract. Contract would be the perfect word that I was looking for there, but I was just having a brain fart. Now it says, uses in the description. Omen shoots a blaster-like spread of pellets with the middle projectile maintaining a straight trajectory. This makes it more useful than most of your splat guns in terms of range. If the player can judge the correct distance with the pattern of the pellets spread, the omen can literally be completely accurate as all the pellets will pulse to inwards and outwards, eventually overlapping for a brief moment. This can be very hard to master, though, especially in combat and in certain different environments, of which including if the shotgun has an iron sight or scope. Now, notes for this gun, it says the omen is one of the few E-Tech weapons that can be non-elemental. The spread pattern of the omen is similar to an eye. Now, can never spawn with a vertical grip or the gentle prefix which could give it a times 11 projectiles fired so you know right there we know that the gentle prefix isn't in there everybody always wants the gentle prefix stuff like that what do you guys think what is the best prefix for this omen uh that you guys would go out there and look for man because i'm digging it. i really like the shotgun i want to go get fire i want to go get slag and i want to go get all that stuff so let me know what you guys think is the best prefix for this what do you guys think about this gun if you've not if you've not got it man i definitely say go for it because like right here with this grog nozzle i just felt like it was like freaking awesome i love using it man like i love the grog nozzle i love this shotgun for what it's worth just messing around with it yesterday i want to get shock i want to get fire i've already got shot dumbass i want to get slag that's it i want to get fire uh, i'll even take corrosive man i want to get them all and just check them check them out because i might put on that deputy's badge and get my you know that bonus shotgun damage and all those perks for that start rocking out with shotguns for a little bit pistols i'm starting to get kind of bored with it so we might be you know start rocking some uh, some of that shotgun that splutter gun as they call it here in borderlands too uh, but nonetheless, less, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed episode 24 of my Seraph Weapon series. Like I said, if you don't think that that was an actual drop and then he threw it down behind my back, let me know. I'll go back and redo it for you guys. I don't want to deceive you guys. I don't. I like to prove these things. Hard facts, son. Hard facts. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed episode 24. Good luck on getting the omen. Watch out for this tutorial soon. Like I said, leave some uh, tips in the description or in the comments if you'd like. But I am going to get out of here, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one. Bye-bye.